Severe weather alert day today. Uh, not really anything again going on right now, but it's what could be coming later. Right, a lot of folks waking up and looking at the window like, what is he talking about? Why are they doing this for weather alert day? Well, we're doing it because of what could be here this afternoon. And as we mentioned earlier, you don't wait until the severe weather on your doorstep to issue the alert day. You issue it before so we can get the word out to you that it could be coming. That's why we do it so early. A lot of folks will be like, why don't you just do it right before it happens? Well, if we do it right before it happens, it's not going to make any sense. You're, mm -hmm. you're in it by the time the alert day goes out. So uh, quiet this morning, but don't let that fool you. We could see the possibility for two distinct waves of storms later this afternoon. But the first one, what happens after that, depends on what the second one's going to do. Okay. Live pinpoint Doppler radar as we scan the skies this morning. Not a whole lot to tell you about. At 643, good morning to you, but you see the green already off of the distance showers and storms in Indiana, Illinois and back out toward Missouri trying to cross the Ohio River out in western Kentucky. Temperatures for you this morning 72 along the Kentucky River Valley from Hindman through Hazard and Hyden. It is 73 in Pikeville, 74 Jackson, Sayersville, Paintsville, West Liberty, Canton, Prestonsburg and Inez. 74 in a lot of places this morning. 70 in Whitesburg right now. 71 Elkhorn City and Phelps. On down the road we go. 73 in London, Somerset. 72 Monticello, or excuse me, not Monticello, Mount Vernon. It is down toward Monticello. 74, 72 Whitley City and Williamsburg along with Barberville. 73 Manchester. A little cooler Harlan and Middlesbrough both in the 60s this morning. Almanac for you as we go into June 8th. Sunrise happened at 612. Sunset at 853. Record high 92 back in 2011. Record low 50 in 1983. We have a half moon Moon on our way to a waning crescent later this week. Let's take a look at the travel forecast. Yellow light this morning. There is a bit of patchy fog in some areas. Otherwise, a mild start, 70 or close to it for temperatures. This afternoon, severe weather is possible, so red light there, especially right around the time you commute home. So keep that in mind. 85 is our forecast high, and that will start to dip as that rain chance picks up. There's the frontal boundary. It's a cold front that's going to stir up the weather. The troublemaker of the fronts is going to start to push through as we go deeper into the afternoon. And when it does, we'll see two waves of storms. There's the first one. If we see some clearing behind that, a second wave will try to develop as we go deeper into the evening. So I think the first wave will be generally between about 12 and 2 o'clock. The second wave, if we see that clearing, the sunshine returns and bumps our temperatures back up anywhere from 5 to about 8 o'clock. And then we'll continue to see the chances for rain overnight, but those will taper off late. So the main threats, damaging wind is the main threat at a moderate level for us today. Flooding and hail both at low threats, but again, we could see both those. We've had some dry conditions here lately overall, so the flooding threat doesn't seem too bad. But again, you get heavy rainfall over a certain area, a certain area in a small amount of time. It could mean just basically some flash flooding if it pools and the ground can't hold anymore. Runoff could also be an issue. Tornado threat very, very low at this point, almost non-existent, but can't completely rule it out. But I think it's a minimal threat at this point. 12-hour planner for you today. Temperatures climb quickly, 80s by lunchtime, 85 by 2 o'clock, and then those rain chances come into play as they do to knock us back down. But again, if we see that clearing, it might push us back up a little bit. Chances for showers mainly early tomorrow. We could see a few spotty showers throughout the day. Colder behind the front, low 80s at least. We'll see a couple of pleasant days midweek drier there than hit or miss chances for showers or storms through Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. Look at Thursday, though, close to 90 degrees for a daytime high. Fourth and final check of the refrigerator this morning. See what we have for you there behind the magnets on refrigerator art. Nice little picture there. I think we all wish we were there this morning, sitting on the beach, enjoying life. That coming to us from DJ. We appreciate that, DJ. Appreciate all the nice pictures we get to showcase here on the morning news. Time is 646. Good morning. You're watching Mountain News this morning right here on WIMT.